Well, we have here today, Monday, July 5th, 2021. And it is the same watch, the Zeno, whatever, 7750, whatever they call it. I don't know. Okay, Bun Special video, written and directed edited by Bun Special, graphics by Bun Special, stunts by Bun Special, handcrafted with fine ingredients, sound effects by Bun Special. Ah, this video is performed by an amateur, do not attempt at home, no watches were harmed in making this video for entertainment only. Right, we got that out of the way. Let's get to the main shoot. So, uh, here's a pocket watch. It's rather thick. Looks like, well, it was a silver plated brass case. It's a Verge Fusey, I think it is. It's got the bullseye crystal, I think that's what they call that. The flap crystal. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, yeah, so I bought this uh, running because I'm not going to touch this old stuff non running because uh, I can't, you know, there's no parts. I can't make parts anyway. So I'm going to take this apart because I bought this and it was filthy on the inside. Probably going to do something about it. Let's see. I'm looking for my uh, watch opener. There it is. So. There it is, no seconds hands, this hand's bent, eh, whatever. Eh, not much left. I don't even know if this is the original case. Uh, open it up. Uh, this thing's broken on this side, so you can't... Uh, well, you can pin it on one side, but not the other side. Maybe it is the original case. It fits nicely. He just, just comes out because, like I say, well, it's supposed to come out nicely. Oh, come on. It came out nicely before. And now you want to fight. I gotta push the thing in. So I gotta push the spring loaded thing in. There's a case still has some silver in there. Doesn't even have a. has initials, but no hallmark. No hallmark. Let's see what the inside says. Yeah, see they got two holes, so I don't know if it's the original case. Oh, it does have there's a couple of marks in the back, but I don't know. Oh, those are hallmarks or just maker marks? Huh, I should look at it. These are the hallmarked silver stuff. This is, like I said, plated. So oh, look at that, that screw. I didn't know that was that a screw thing. I don't know what that does. Oh, it's busted over here. Yeah. Let me put this aside. Oh yeah, oops. Gotta do this. Uh, so there's the front. There's the catch in the to keep it in the case. Oh look, and there's the back with the uh, it works, runs. So let's see if we can take this apart. You can see it move. Wow. Uh, let's see. I guess this is good. It wants to run. Yeah, the inside is kind of like they dipped it in oil or something. There's the chain too. Wow, look how filthy that is. It's all oil, you know, like the stuff that cr collects on the bottom of a car engine. That's what it looks like. Man, this doesn't even have a... Uh, interesting. Usually they have something to keep it running while you're winding it. But this doesn't even have that. Wow, interesting. Okay, let's see if we can get the show on the road. Oh, what am I going to do first? I think I'm going to take the balance off first. There's no maker mark. There's nothing here except the number and then fast, slow and fast and some fancy, fancy. 
not much going on. I guess they didn't want to be, uh, they didn't want you to to know who made it. Let's see if I can take this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, oh, what do I do first? Let's get a bigger screwdriver. Bigger. This is bigger. Oh, excuse me. Wow, that's was that thing stripped? I think it's it might be stripped. I never took this apart before. Yeah, something's going on with this. No, it's a very short screw. That's what's going on with it. The uh, plastic container. This is the bottom of the Avion bottled water. Let me get this out of there. Put that to the side. Oh, maybe she get a movement holder, but not yet. Let's see if we can take this off. Oh, there you go. Look at that. It's like soaked in oil. Can you see that? Look at all that oil. I didn't do that. That's the way it came. Wow. Fancy schmancy. They got a picture. That's the guy. Uh, there, that's old man weather there. I don't know if you can see that. They decorated this. I don't know if you can see this. Are they eyes? Eh. Oh, look at that. So there it is. There's the balance. How many rotations? One, two, maybe three at the most. Look at all that oil. Holy crap. Whoops. I should have let down the mainspring first. No, the mainspring is almost, almost down anyway. Yeah, the mainspring, because I tilted this thing, the balance moved out of the way so the uh, could move and went unwound down, but I only did that for a couple of seconds. And where's the pin for that hairspring? It doesn't go all the way through. There's a freaking hair in here too. Let me see what I got going on. Look at that, everything's just oily. Okay, let's see if I gotta take the uh Pin out for the hairspring. Oh, that's in there tight. Oh no, not really. If I can wiggle it. Let me get this out of the way. I don't want to slip and bust it. Oh, that's the pin. Oh, so the hairspring stuck out a little bit maybe. Don't want to lose that. I wonder if you're seeing any of this. Oh, some of it. Ah, so let's see what the balance looks like. Oh man. Let's see, there's the balance. Let me put on this other magnification. Wow. Look at that hairspring's not even flat. Damn. I wonder if I can make it flat. You see the flag, as they call it. I wonder if you can... Look, focus. Let's see. Oh, well. Oh, you can see one of them. Yeah, there's one at the top and one at the bottom. 
Wow, I think they made this out of a piece, one piece of steel. That staff. Wow. Yeah, interesting. And then we can flatten that hairspring. I don't know. I don't know. Let me put this over here. Okay. Oh, you can see the... I don't know what they call it. I have to look. I didn't look in the book to see what these parts are called. Oh, it did move. Oh, I gotta take the hands off. You see, to let down the mainspring, you have to take the dial off. Where are my hand removers? Whoops. I'm seeing this mic I'm gonna tap this microphone. I'm gonna see if it works. That'd be eleven thirty mark. Oh, hand removers, hand removers, hand removers. Let's try this type. Plunger, I think, is it the plunger? Let's come off. Rather easy. Usually I put the plastic on top, but uh, not today. Yeah, so like I said, to remove the let down the mainspring, you have to take the dial off because that's where the uh, the thing in my jig is. But I wanted to take the balance off because I didn't want to mess it up. Of course, if I had a movement holder, it wouldn't have mattered. But I'm too lazy. And then we gotta take the dial off. I got some dial pins on the perimeter. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I have another lighting source today. Maybe that's why this one's gonna come out better. Let's see, now I gotta use the uh, these pliers. Take the pins. Oh yeah, that's one down. I'm gonna rotate this. And there's the next one. And then I'll rotate it. Let's see how many got. Is that a pin? Man, I can barely see that pin. There's always gonna be a pin. Yeah, there's always something that's going to give you grief. And this is the pin that gives me grief. Because there's not much to grab onto. Oh, oh I got it. Oops. Shout out. It hit my leg. Because I'm in my underwear. And I felt it hit my leg. That's why I like to do this work in my underwear. Because when things fly... If they hit my body, I can feel it. I think I found the pin. Let's see. Yep, I found the pin. See, if I wasn't in my underwear, I wouldn't have felt the pin hit my leg. So I wouldn't know where to look for it. So that's, that's why I like to do it in my underwear. I get all my senses involved all my body parts involved in this and the dial comes right off look at that and then they actually pin this the enamel or ceramic or whatever the hell you want to call it well, it's missing a leg and it's got one here and one over here but this one over here is, looks like it's probably broken off it's got a number on there too, 22 and a half
Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to put this way over there. Okay. So let's see what's on this side. Look at all that oil, too. Wait a minute. Oh. I thought this stuff fell off. The hour wheel and the minute wheel. Well, let's put that in here, too. So it was all oily for that stuff. There's a cannon pinion. Look how tight that is. Whoops. Didn't like it when I did that. And this is to let down the uh, mainspring. I need a key? Wow, there's not much to grab onto. Yeah. I don't know if, let's see if I got a key. I got a whole bunch of keys. Let's see if I got a key. That's a tiny one, too. So I got all these new keys I bought. But they have a taper on the, uh, the mouth, let's say. So those aren't worth crap. I got some other keys here that aren't tapered. Let's see if this fits. It... Nah, doesn't fit good enough. Got a number? It's got a number 5 on it. So I have another smaller key. What's this key? This key's not too big. Oh man, oh, what about this key? What is this? There's something tangled in here. Why does that do that? Uh, let's see, is this key too big? I don't know if I have a key. I don't want to use the key. But, uh, four, five, maybe what, the bigger the number, the smaller the entrance? Yeah, oh, this one I filed down. This is number 11. I filed down the uh, the tip so it wouldn't have a taper. Well, that one's too small. And I don't want to file down a key. I'm going to use the pliers. Let's see the pliers. I don't know how much of a preload. Uh, I gotta, how am I going to do this? Let's see if I grip it. It's going to want to go that way. No, this isn't good. This just isn't good. Nah, this isn't good. I don't like using the pliers. I do not like using the pliers. Five, right? So it's number five. Two, this is in number eight. Eight's too small. There's seven. Should be right next to eight. Oh, okay, there's seven. Seven. Let's see if I can use seven. Seven would work. I think it wants to cam out. How do I push this thing out of the way? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. What am I I'm gonna file down this seven. I got my uh, I got a file. I'm gonna file the taper off this sucker.
Oh shit. Let me put that over there. I filed the taper off of it. I don't know why they put a taper on there. See, I need a third hand. That was it. You didn't see that. I filed down the... Uh, I got rid of the taper. I'm going to just clean off this fire marks. I don't know why they put... Well, yeah, yeah, I can see why you have a taper there. But these are cheap keys you buy off of eBay. They're like 10 bucks. You get a whole bunch of keys, so they're not like uh, old keys. So I let down the mainspring. I don't think it was maybe a quarter turn it was. Yeah, I should have wound. Well, you know, you're supposed to put it on the fusing. Now I'm gonna just have a big mess of chain. I don't care. Okay, what's next? Oh, we can take off the uh you get a movement holder. Let me get the movement holder. Oh, there it is. Uh, gotta get this video done in another... Oh, I ain't got much time left. So here, yeah, I got a movement holder. Oh, man. I gotta take this off. What is this part? Ah, oh, these screws are all... Damn. Screws are all chewed up. All chewed up and by stripped. doesn't want to come off because the last threads and the, the slot for the screwdrivers is all chewed up damn This is for the uh, adjusting the speed. Well, let's get another container. What does that look like on the inside? That's all oily too. And now I can take the uh, mainspring now. Let's see if I can... Maybe I should clamp this tighter. Oh, there's stuff on this side. Right, let's see. Now I can take the mainspring. Oh, man, those are tight. Oh, that's... Oof. I didn't want to come out. Oh, man. These things. Oh, 
And I'm going next to the other thing. <sighs> well, you can't take the mainspring out. Unless you unhook the chain. I can't really see how that chain's hooked in. Oh, I unhooked the chain. There's a little chain, wow. I'm going to pull out the chain. Ooh, it's long. I'm supporting it. And there's the chain. Wow. It's a long chain. I'm going to rest that down. There you go. Oops. It's back here. There's the chain. Let's see if this comes out. Oh, there's the mainspring barrel. Now, will I open this up? I may open it up. I don't know if I'm going to take it out. Because I don't know how old it is. There's the, uh, I don't know what they call that. Ratchet. I don't know. Whatever to lock it in. I don't know if I'll take it out. It, I'm looking at the edges of the coil and they look real nice. So it could have been a replacement spring. I don't know. Okay. What's next? Next is the top plate. Let's see, I get the pliers out for these. We got one, two, three, four pins. And some of these pins are like... They use the shortest possible length of material. Yeah, these are going to be a pain in the neck to get out. Yeah, that's going to be a pain. Oh, so man, they're so short, these pins, they don't even, bar they barely stick out the other side. Usually you can push them. Wow, they don't even want to come out. That one moved a little bit. Hmm. I don't want to scratch it up. Man. Wow. Oh. I don't think I'm going to get these out. Nah, none of them want to come easily. Damn, now why do you use such short pins? Let's see if I use the... Uh... Where'd they go? Where are they? Oh, that's not it. Oh, man. Do I have better tweezers? I think I have stiffer tweezers. Where'd my stiff tweezers go? There they are. A whole set of tweezers here. Oh, let's try this set. Let's try this bunch. I need real stiff tweezers. To push this stuff out. Let's see if these are stiff enough. Hmm. 
No, these aren't stiff enough. Man, I thought I had some stiff tweezers. Not this. No, it's not that stiff. Yeah, maybe these are stiffer. What about these? Let's try these. Oh, what about those? Yeah, let me try these. No, not stiff enough. Oh man, we're gonna get push these out with a pen. There's a pen. I can't even push these out with a pin. Man! Uh, the alternative is, let's see. See if I can use these uh, wire cutters to get a grip. And pull these pins out. Man. Maybe I have to look. Hopefully I have pins that I can use. Let's see, I'm trying to get a grip. Wow. I can't even get a grip with these snippers. It slides right up them. This is a pain in my ass. This is a pain in the ass. Wow, these don't want to come out. Damn! These do not want to come out. Whoops. Whoops. Damn, these do not want to come out. Yeah, well, I gotta stop the camera and think about this for a second. Yeah, I'm back. I, I drilled that. You know, it really ticked me off. I took a pin or a small screwdriver and was able to push the pins out. When I got real close, push them out except for one pin. And there's always one damn fastener that's going to give you crap when you're taking apart this old stuff. And this bad boy, I had to drill him out. He pissed me off so much. I have this drill. I had to drill the bastard out. It didn't want to cooperate. Very upsetting. Let's see if the plate will come off now. I drilled that bastard out. Didn't want to come out, I drilled it out. <laughs> Let's see if the plate will come off. 
What a pain in my ass. There was at least one damn fastener that gives you crap. You know? Every time. One screw, one nut. Just one of them just doesn't want to come out. Now this one, I broke the drill bit in there, and I think a little bit of it's hanging out. It's gonna give me grief. Let's see if I can push it in a little bit. Yeah, I drilled that bastard out. Wow. Well, I thought I got them all out. How come now I'm getting crap? There you go, you scurvy bastard. And this is the underside. Look how filthy that is. Damn. That is filthy. That's why I want to take this apart. I didn't break anything yet. What is this? A pile of what? I don't know what that is. That's the stop for the uh, winding. I'll put that here. You bastard pin. I drilled that mother out. There's the piece of drill bit. Typical. I, I, I broke a drill getting that sucker out. I don't care. Drill, bastard, pin. I'm gonna put in better pins. You hey, put these little short ass pins that don't do, that you can't even push out. Well, who's putting these things together? Why they do that? Pain in the ass. And yeah, that looks good. I need another container now. Whoops. I'm just still upset because I had to. Damn, drill that sucker out. Because all the other ones came out. I pushed them out with a pin. But not that one. That one had to give me crap. Look at all the oil underneath there. Damn. Does it need that much oil? How do I take this apart? I don't even know how this comes apart. I don't see any screws. I don't even see any pins. I'm gonna look at that closely. Well, I can get this out. I didn't break any pivots either. The way I was... Oh, man, look at all that. Look at all that oil on there. Damn. I want to clean this up and put it back together. I wonder if the cannon pinion comes off. I need a good cannon pinion puller. Can I set this? Eh, it doesn't want to sit right. How does that come off? Wow, that's in there tight. I got these the pliers. Let me do a grip it lightly. Let me get this out of the way, or else I'm gonna. come off nicely. I'll have to look at that later. Wow, what a pain in the ass you were. That one freaking pin. Did to drill that bastard out. You want to... I don't know which one it was. Anyway, before I run out of time, I ain't got like five minutes left. Bastard pin. It was this one, because I scratched it. Where was that pin? Where was that bastard pin? That was this one. That post. How does that post look? Doesn't look too bad. 
I didn't destroy it too much. Anyway, okay, well that was exciting. 12, 13. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong counter. It doesn't tell me uh, how much time I have left, it tells me how much time I used. Okay, so let's do a group shot. I can clean this up. Uh, give me the chain. I put the chain in here. So this is the uh, Verge Fuse. What? What fell? The Verge Fuse. Pain in the ass taking it apart. One damn pin gives me grief. I'm right, gonna see if I can clean it and then put it back together. Anyway, uh, thank you for your cooperation. I hope you enjoyed the program. Enjoy the rest of your day.